Good morning, friends. It's Carrie from the Portland Public Library coming to you from the Sam L. Cohen's Children's Room. We have our elephant here, and I have a book to share with you today. It's called Penny and Her Marble by Kevin Hankies. To Penny and Ford. Chapter One. Penny was pushing her doll Rose in her stroller. They went back and forth on the front sidewalk. Only go as far as Mrs. Gooden, Goodwin's house, called Mama. Penny pretended they were in a big city. Look at those tall buildings, Rose, said Penny. When they got to Mrs. Goodwin's house, they turned around. Then Penny pretended they were in a forest. I hope we don't get lost in the trees, Rose, she said. They went back and forth again and again. Now Penny pretended they were flying in a plane. Everything looks so tiny from up here, said Penny. Just then, Penny saw something on Mrs. Goodwin's lawn. It glinted in the sun. It was a marble, a big, shiny, blue marble. It can't be Mrs. Goodwin's, thought Penny. She is too old to play with a marble. Penny bent down to get a better look. The marble seemed to say, take me home. Penny looked around. No one was watching. Penny picked up the marble. She put it in her pocket. Then Penny raced home with Rose. Chapter two. Penny took the marble to her room. She shut the door. Penny rolled the marble between her fingers. The marble was smooth. Penny rolled the marble across the floor. The marble was fast. Penny showed the marble to Rose. Isn't it pretty, Rose, said Penny. The marble was so blue, it looked like a piece of the sky. Penny went to the window. She held up the marble. She was right. It the marble was like a piece of the sky. Penny saw Mrs. Goodwin out the window. Mrs. Goodwin was in her yard. Mrs. Goodwin was exactly where Penny had found the marble. Penny hid behind the curtain. Was Mrs. Goodwin looking for the marble? Penny left the window. She hid the marble in her dresser. Penny stayed by Mama and the babies all afternoon. She could not stop thinking about the marble. Chapter three. Do you want to bake cookies, asked Mama. Penny shrugged. Mm. We could make your favorite, said Mama. Sugar cookies. I'll watch you, said Penny. Are you feeling okay, asked Mama. My stomach hurts a little, said Penny. Mama felt Penny's forehead. No fever. Penny watched Mama bake cookies. Penny helped a little. At dinner, Penny did not eat much. The oranges in the bowl looked like big orange marbles. The peas on her plate looked like little green marbles. Penny pushed the peas around her plate. I'm not hungry, she said. Penny did not want a sugar cookie for dessert. At bedtime, Mama said, you still do not have a fever. Papa said, you will feel better in the morning. It's probably just a bug, said Penny. Are you worried about something, asked Mama. No, said Penny. Are you sure, asked Papa. Penny nodded. After Mama and Papa left her room, Penny looked at the marble. It was still so blue and so smooth and so shiny. Penny put the marble back in the dresser. Penny could not sleep. She kept thinking about the marble. When Penny did fall asleep, she dreamed. She dreamed that Mrs. Goodwin was knocking on the door yelling, Where is my marble? 
Then Penny dreamed that the marble grew so big it broke her dresser. Finally, Penny stopped dreaming. She slept deeply until morning. Chapter four. When Penny woke up, she'd forgotten about the marble. All of a sudden, she remembered. Penny got dressed quickly. She got the marble and put it in her pocket. Penny looked for Mama. Mama, said Penny, may I take Rose for a walk before breakfast? Are you feeling better today? asked Mama. Penny nodded. Okay, said Mama, just to Mrs. Goodwin's and back. Penny pushed Rose to Mrs. Goodwin's yard. Penny could feel the marble in her, he in her pocket. It was as heavy as a rock. Penny bent down. She put the marble back where she found it. Let's go home, Rose, Penny said. Hurry. Wait, called Mrs. Goodwin. Penny's heart pounded. Oh, Penny, don't you want that pretty blue marble? Penny looked up at Mrs. Goodwin. Penny's cheeks were hot. She could not speak. Mrs. Goodwin said, I found the marble yesterday. It was in the back of my kitchen drawer. I thought someone would love it. That's why I put it on the grass by the sidewalk. I hope someone would walk by and see it, she said. I did see it, said Penny, but I thought it was yours, so I put it back. Mrs. Goodwin picked up the marble. She put the marble in Penny's hand. And now it is yours, said Mrs. Goodwin. Thank you, said Penny. Thank you very much. Penny rolled the marble between her fingers. It seemed even more shiny and smooth and blue than before. Have a good day, said Mrs. Goodwin. I will, said Penny. I will. Penny pushed Rose home. Penny pretended they were in a boat on the sea. The sea is the same color as my marble, said Penny. Penny pushed faster. The boat ride is making me hungry, Rose, said Penny. Let's go inside and have the biggest and best breakfast ever. And they did. The end. Thanks so much for joining me from the Portland Public Library, friends. See you next time.